explain to us this Brexit bill? As in the debate, the process, how long it's going to last. I know it's eight days, but we don't even know when those days are taking right. place, do we? So the important thing to know is that Theresa May has a very slim majority in Parliament and that divides over Brexit do not run along party lines. So what that means is that there are a handful of, or a bit more than a handful, of Tory rebels who want to want closer ties with the EU, want to maintain those ties, and also want to make Brexit a smoother process. So they are pushing back against anything which would sort of tie the hands of the government, for example, to leave the EU on a certain date. And so what we are told is that we're not going to expect a rebellion today. Um, but as could be fireworks, though. There's Ken Clark, by the way, the former Chancellor of, of years gone by. There could be fireworks, couldn't there? Yes, there will be a lively debate, I and mean, the lively debate has already started. And what is clear is that there are plenty of Tory lawmakers who are furious with some of the government's proposals. So one of the government's proposals is to set in stone the date which, um, on which the UK will leave the EU. And Dominic Grieve, for example, Ken Clark, have been very critical of this and sort of saying, well, why would you, why would you set that in stone? Why would you tie your hands? You know, why not leave it open so that if, you know, if there's no progress in talks, that you can um, ask for an extension? Now, David Days would say, would say that it's very difficult to get an extension anyway because you need unanimity from the EU. But the real reason they're doing this, we think, is that it's a sort of um, gift a concession, if you like, to the most enthusiastic Brexit supporters in their party. So basically, there could be a rebellion, which is not going to look good for, for Theresa May, but the one thing the government does control is the timetable of the debates, and so what they've managed to do is push back the most controversial ones. To the end. For, mm -hmm.